expired fixer. Is it worth your time? Let's find out. My name is Azrael Knight, this is my dark room, and today I'm gonna figure out if expired fixer is worth the time and effort. So I've been collecting expired chems and papers for years, and uh, I've used some of it, like some of the safe stuff like paper, because you find out right away if the paper works or not, and stop bath, I mean it's an indicator stop bath, so it'll turn purple when it expires, so I know immediately if it's working or not. But uh, as far as the developers and the fixers go, I haven't really um, done anything with them yet. I've just sort of set them aside. But today I'm finally gonna answer some of my curiosities, at least for the fixer. I've got three uh, expired containers of fixer, uh, two liquid and one powder. And today I'm gonna whip up all three and see how they perform. I will mix each batch of fixer using the following parameters. I'll use distilled water at room temperature to mix the liquid, and I'll warm up distilled water on a hot plate to the needed temperature for the powder fixer. I'll use four by five sheets of HP5 Plus, close pinned and dipped into the fixer for five minutes. If it clears, I will consider it usable. To use as an example of a proper fixing time, I'll start with some fresh fixer. I'm gonna let the fixer mixer for a while. <laughs> That's horrible. Uh, I'm gonna let the fixer mix for a while, and uh, and then I'm gonna put my first test strip in. What do I mean by a while? Like, well, since it's fresh stuff, like, you know, another three minutes. Uh, I just bought this thing, and it's already the most mixed I've ever mixed anything uh, <laughs> ever. All right, first up on the expired list is Ilford Ilfo Speed. It's paper fixer, but I should still be able to strip test this. Okay, here goes nothing. There is liquid. Holy shit, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, there's some... No, that doesn't look bad at all. Okay. Not what I expected. I expected sludge. Look at that. That is amazing. I have high hopes for this. To me, that looked like a failure. What do you guys think? Okay, moving on to the next one we have Ilford Universal Rapid Fixer. Same crunchiness. This is the other liquid concentrate. 500 milliliters cost 395 whenever this was purchased. I should mention too, I don't know when these expired. I just know that they do based on how old the bottles look and generally how long, you know, the data sheets say they keep for. I have to say right away, this one smells like rotten eggs. I'm not sure what that means, but I am staying away from it as much as I can, at least until I dilute it.
to me, this one that I just did looks just as bad as the second one. I'd also consider this a fail. The third and final batch is this Kodak powder fixer. Now I happen to know that powder fixers stand a way better chance. Sounds like the powder is still powdery, that it hasn't clumped up. Um, but I am concerned because the package has stains on it and uh, that means that the chemicals inside might be compromised. So actually, I don't have to warm it up. It just says no higher than 26.5. It doesn't say anything about a minimum. It does say most Kodak films should be fixed at 18 to 21 Celsius. 19 Celsius. I would definitely call this one a success. If anything, the Kodak Fixer cleared it slightly more than the Ilford Rapid Fixer. That's not because of a more concentrated dilution either. It called for, yeah, it called for 946 milliliters and I topped it all the way up to a thousand. So the conclusions that I've come to are pretty much the same as when you Google the forums that the liquid fixer is no good, generally speaking, and uh, the powder fixer is good. And some of the forms have said, you know, if it's damaged, it might not work. But in this case, in this case, it worked fantastic. Uh, I'm really happy with it. I'm definitely gonna use this fixer, um, though I tend to keep powder fixer for my prints and liquid fixer for my negatives because Ilford's Rapid Fixer is just fantastic. Uh, I did find this highly educational though. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also let me know what experiment I should do next. And until next time, stay classic.